let's at, look at our Illustrator. In Illustrator, you will see a couple of different areas in the screen. The first area, of course, is the artboard on the side. Second, you'll look at your tools on the left side, your palettes on the right side, and your docking options at the top. Let's first start with our tools. The first tool is the select arrow. We use the select arrow to move objects around. If we look at our select tool, notice that the shortcut is V. Another tool that we want to look at is our text type tool. Notice that I'm using the select tool to move it. We use the text tool for typing and notice that its shortcut is T. Another tool that we want to look at is our rectangle tool. Our rectangle tool has more options and we can tell this by the little triangle in the corner. If I click and hold the mouse I have other options that I can use. The shortcut for our rectangle tool is M. The last tool that we want to look at is the line tool. Again, the line segment tool has other options. We'll look at those later. For now, we want to move our line tool. I know that the line tool shortcut is the forward slash. Our other key shortcuts that we have are the control C for copy. So I will copy control C and we have a control V for paste. Another shortcut are the zoom tools. So control plus zooms me in and control minus will zoom out. To get back, control zero. To move, we have a shortcut of the space bar and clicking on your mouse. When working with, say, our rectangle tool, when I'm drawing or resizing text, I always want to make sure that I hold down the shift key so that I have a perfect square or that I keep the ratio of the size proper. Here I again demonstrate holding the shift key down. Last is our grid, which is the control quote mark. You can turn the grid off or on. 